Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. We are currently sitting at Diamond 1. Yes, we made it that far before the end of the season. Um, overall, uh, match history, won eight in a row the last ones, but there was like this weird bug, right? Where it was just um, like the Chinese player, uh, it was specifically the Chinese player, I don't know why, but they would like stall out and lag out. And they all had this one deck, so let me. It's always at turn two, and they always had this deck. Yeah, this one. Um, all of them had it. I don't know why, but they were just some out there that was just. I don't know. It lagged out, and you know, you get the victory. Am I gonna complain a little bit because I really wanted to play and play some more uh, matches? But um, this is the deck I used. Uh, let's let's take a look. I didn't I didn't change this ever since I hit diamond. Um, I left it the same. And I went through the whole uh, gameplay that way. So I had two maxis, one increase, uh, two ash, one denier, uh, one stratos, two vion, two shadow mist, one draw hand, one a dusted gold, one liquid soldier, two forest, one dine attack, two malicious, uh, one honest neos, one plasma MVP, um, you know, polymerization. Rota, Miracle, one E-Call, three A Hero Lives, one Dark Calling, two Fusion Destinies, I'm sad is that two, uh, three Mass Change, three Forbidden Droplet, and three Infinite Impermanence. Um, for the extra deck, we are running two Dark Laws, one Dangerous, one Sunrise, Absolute Zero, Tornado, Trinity, also MVP, Acid, Dystopia, Malicious Bane, DPE, another good card, Wonder Driver, uh, Cross Crusader. I was thinking about bumping this up to two, but uh, the way we play now is just one. One Vertex Anaconda and one Decimator. So with this video, I mean, with, yeah, with this video, what I plan to do is just give you guys some gameplay of, of my journey up to here. I won't be showing you guys, you know, each rank progress and all that. But um, at, at the end of the video, there will be like my final thoughts for the whole journey. Um, pretty much it was, yeah, you'll, you'll see it. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. It was basically, mainly I played against one deck and you'll see, I'll put the chapters in there. So feel free to skip around and see what type of plays I make with this deck. Um, I mean, there were some boring matches where you know, it reminded me of GOAT format. You summon and then, you know, you just play it out that way. Uh, it's no combos. So in this video, I wanted to do like a compilation of combos. So that way it'll showcase the hero deck that it is a diamond one deck. And I think for me, it's the best deck because I love heroes. And uh, it could pretty much beat anything out there. A um, few bad hands, but you can still play. You can still at least do something with every hand, which is a good thing. Um, and that's why I love this deck. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy the video.
I love seeing that diamond one rank. I can't wait for them to add more. Um, as you can see from the video, about 90% of my matches were the, the score soul tiny decks. And I'm not gonna lie, they were, like once I got the hang of them and how to counter them, it was fairly easy to get through because they just dealt with a lot of, like you just have to have patience and well, for one, you have to have forbidden droplets so they can't counter anything. But uh, yeah, negating the monster effects really, really does slow them down. So uh, having three impermanence and three forbidden droplets really, and plasma, plasma was OP in a few times. But I didn't really showcase them this time because uh, those matches were a lot slower. Uh, what I wanted to do for this video was to show off combos and hopefully you guys got some combos out of them um, and maybe some plays that even though your hand looks kind of crappy you can still make plays with heroes because there's always something to do with heroes it's just sometimes it's not the strongest move um, to be honest climbing up to diamond one with heroes was pretty easy it wasn't it didn't yeah it wasn't hard at all um, because it, heroes just have multiple plays you can do it's not like that whole uh, like like a boss monster that you know has a like, omen in the gate or whatnot. It has a few monsters that has different uh, effects for different situations. So that's why I really like heroes. And plus, it's my favorite archetype. <laughs> um, I really think it's a meta deck, but it's not because it's rogue. There's not a lot of people are interested. But heroes to me are number one. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys get something out of it. And until then, I'm trying to make a combo video. Like three specific combos you should know when playing heroes. We'll see how it goes. Anyways, later.